Okay, so this is for like Ryan. Do you know what an author author centric system? Author centric system. Yeah. So basically, all it's saying is if you have a triangle, right? See, that's like the author center, yeah. Yeah. And that's A, B, C. What does it mean to be an author-centric system? It means... Maybe you can remind Andy when he comes as well, okay? But basically it means that if you take any three out of the four, yeah, then the fourth thing is the author center of the other three. So the four letters on the board. So H is the author center of ABC, right? C is the author center of AHB. B is the author center of AHC. And A is the author center of AHB. Yeah. Does that make sense? See, because if you look at, for example, if you look at AHB, it's all, it's, so you just, it suffices to show that this is, the author center is A, right? By, by symmetry. Well, the author center lies on this line, right? It lies on this altitude, yeah? Um, okay. But then it also lies on this altitude, yeah? And that's also an altitude, see? Okay? So then A is the author center. Okay. And that's usually how you deal with, you know how like, when it's acute, the author center is inside the triangle? And when it's obtuse, it's outside the triangle, yeah? So usually what you do is, so instead of dealing with the obtuse case separately, you just change the letters. Does that make sense? So the obtuse case, you just swap A and H. Yeah? Okay. So can we check, so if we label this D, E, F, yeah? D, E, F, yeah? The D, E, F is called the orthic triangle, yeah? Of A, B, C, yeah? But can we also check that D, E, F is the orthic triangle of A, H, B, for example? Or H, C, B? So it should be the orthic triangle of all the, all the four things in the orthocentric system, yeah? So if you look at the blue triangle, right? So D is the same D, yeah? Okay. And then C, the altitude from C goes, hits B there, right? So it's the same E, yeah? And you go that way, um, B goes that way. It's, it's just it's just that it's the same D, the points are the same, but it corresponds to different vertices now, yeah? So the F now corresponds, so the F already corresponds to the C, and the A already corresponds to the D, wait, wait, in this case, yeah, in this case B corresponds to F, right, and C corresponds to E, yeah, so B and C got swapped with, it used to be, you understand what I'm saying? So it used to be A to D, B to E, and C to F, yeah? But in the blue triangle, it's B to F, C to E, and, and H to D, yeah? Oh. Yeah? Mm. Very good. Okay, and then... So what does that mean? Remember the nine-point circle? The nine-point circle is the circle that goes through D, F, yeah? So nine point circle is a circumcircle of TEF. Yeah. yeah. So what does that mean? It means that all the four triangles have the same nine point circle. Right? So it's just by definition. Huh? By definition. Yeah. Yeah. So it goes through the same three points, right? So it's the same circle. Yeah. And so if we can prove that the DEF circle is tangent to the in circle of ABC and the X circles of ABC, yeah? 
the planet must also be tangent to the inner circle of BCH and the X circles of BCH, right? And uh, oh, wait, where's Alex? Yikes. Yeah, so that's the thing. If it's tangent to those four circles, it's tangent to 16 circles. Oh. Isn't that crazy? It's just tangent to everything. Hmm. Alright, any questions about that? So that's why it's stated for like 16 circles, but really it just suffice to show for 3 circles, right? And the thing is, when you do like, when you show its tangent to the inner circle and the x circles, you're really just showing its tangent to 2 circles, right? Because you're, you're showing tangent to the inner circle and one of the x circles, and by symmetry it's tangent to the other x circles as well, right? So it's funny, like you're, you're claiming that something's tangent to 16 circles, but you're only proving it's tangent to 2 circles, you yeah? know? Am I giving the appearance that you're missing out on a lot of stuff? Mm. Yeah, anyway, so I was just explaining why if you can prove that the nine point circle is tangent to the in circle of ABC and the X circles, then it's also tangent to the in circle of um, BCH and its X circles. Yeah. Okay.